What is the essence of science? Ask an impertinent question, and you are on the way to the pertinent answer. Have you ever taken a maglev train? The amazing speed of this transportation system can be more than 600 kilometers per hour. Sitting on the maglev train, it is better to explain we are flying too low than we are running too fast. However, where is the inspiration for this ground aircraft from? This interesting story may originate from a frog. Hmm? In 1997, Professor Andre Geim was researching electromagnets. One day, an interesting idea occurred to him and he suddenly poured water into the electromagnetic device. It astonished everyone since experimental devices are so valuable and nobody would even consider casually pouring liquids into them. But what amazed people appeared later, the water levitated stably. Then, Andre increased the power and put a frog into the device, it levitated again. Magicians can levitate items or people because they finish the magic with some special magic props or visual deception, but this time, it happened naturally. No one could explain why gravity disappeared. To explain this phenomenon, we need to introduce the term, diamagnetic materials. Diamagnetic materials are repelled by a magnetic field, an applied magnetic field creates an induced magnetic field in them in the opposite direction, causing a repulsive force. In contrast, paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials are attracted by a magnetic field. The water and frog levitated because of the reaction of geomagnetism. However, all things have geomagnetism, including human beings, and the earth is a magnetic field, so why can't we levitate? The earth's magnetic field is too weak. Only after Andre increased the power and constructed a strong magnetic field, did the frog levitate. Now, you may wonder, if the magnetic field becomes stronger, can we human beings levitate? It is a pity that Andre could not further this research because of the experimental conditions. But, many years later, scientists successfully put a train into the super strong magnetic field and produced the maglev train. Today, when we take the train at an amazing speed of 600 km per hour, we may need to thank the frog that levitated in 1997. The jump this frog took was only small, but, by dropping out of gravity, it represents a great leap in the progress of science for us all. Andre Geim was granted the Ig Nobel Nobel Prize in 2000 for this research. It may be an interesting story if it ends here, but science never ends. Ten years later, in 2010, Andre Geim was awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of graphene. This time, he entered the scientific halls of ultimate glory. It seems that science can be amusing as well as serious. Are you interested in the story of his Nobel Prize? Let us continue with a series of videos on the Nobel Prize.